Now, at some point here, we're going to talk about uh, uh, firewalls and such like entities. And um, before we do that, um, well, we need to talk about the concept of the network perimeter and the security perimeter. Um, and I'm, for, well, as I've mentioned, um, the, the concept of a, a network perimeter, a security perimeter, um, is becoming increasingly complex these days. It's, uh, it's getting to the point where, um, it's, it's hard to know if it is a useful concept anymore. However, it, it is, at least in the abstract, uh, useful for uh, at least considering security and what you need to do in terms of security. Um, so, let's, you know, uh, consider, you know, the... the Network perimeter used to be the boundary routers. And um, generally speaking, they would be hardened. Um, you would, <laughs> interestingly, you harden a wall, uh, you know, around a, a fort or a, a castle, whatever, by adding something to the wall. Um, it, boundary routers, you harden by taking things away, you turn off the um, uh, functions um, that would normally be running on, on this particular server, um, but which may be used to attack it in some way. And so you just, you know, you, you turn off various things that are supposed to receive instructions from the outside and do certain things in response. Um, you just, you want to leave on um, the specific functions necessary for the boundary router. But that's it. You, you want to cut away everything else that might get in the way. Um, another, uh, that's a, uh, well, we talk about a, a demilitarized zone sometimes that we we set up a possibly a pool of machines or um, a a network even of machines that's on the edge of our network which we have some access to but are somewhat protected from and then it's that subnetwork that is connected to the internet and provides us with internet connectivity and, and by passing traffic through that the, the machines in that demilitarized zone again they are reduced in terms of functionality you know we, we put our public facing web server uh, we put our boundary routers um, we put our uh, you know, various types of servers, the, the mail server, the whatever, in that demilitarized zone. And again, we're not necessarily completely trusting them. We are limiting what they can do. Um, and that is a way to create the, uh, the network, um, perimeter and and the security perimeter but once again uh you know it's it's problematic these days because you've got uh so many different types of devices which we are using uh you know right down to cell phones and they uh, you know demand network connectivity um and yet do not have uh, necessarily the you know we don't have the ability to shut down functions to reduce the functionality of of the device 
um, to ensure that they are secure um, and also ensure that everything gets passed through our boundary routers, our, our firewalls, our, you know. The, uh, again, the story um, from NASA that, uh, you know, they uh, trying out uh, connection to the internet, sheared off the transmit pin, sent out a ping, and got a response. Why the heck, how the heck do they get a response when uh, they are supposedly not able to transmit? Um, and this is an important uh, consideration. You know, how does it, how does it work? How do we... Uh, you know, and, and the fact that the internet is intended for availability. Um, this is, you know, it, this is the function of the internet. This is why the internet was created. And in a sense, that is um, both why we, uh, we see those... Uh, uh, what you know what we might consider bugs, but they are in fact functions of TCP IP and the internet and um, that is what we have to face when we are dealing with a uh, you know this this type of situation where you know it's the internet is built on availability and this you know, it comes into conflict with confidentiality sometimes. Anyway, um, now we've talked about uh, these uh, hardened hosts. We tend to refer to them as the bastion host. And as I say, uh, the, the bastion host mentality, the, um, the idea, the concept that uh, we have, you know, a a bastion, a uh, hardened defense point, and, and we're the good guys on the inside, the attackers are all on the outside. Um, this is uh, a very difficult concept to support anymore. Um, the, you know, it again relies on the idea of the security perimeter, and, and as I say, you know, malware uh, turns that concept upside down. And we don't have um, that simple situation anymore. We have to now look at and uh, consider a much more complex situation because of the extensive nature of our interconnected devices these days.